Welcome aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about builder design pattern. So we have already, already discussed about design patterns, right? So we have three different design patterns. We have creational design pattern, we have structural and then we have behavioral. Builder pattern is a part of creational because it will be helpful when you create an object. Now just to explain this, let's go for an example. So let's say we have this phone class in which you have uh, five variables. So we have OS, we have battery, we have a camera, we have processor and what we have screen size. So let's say we have these five variables. Now in order to create an object of this phone, we require those five values, right? So we can set the values with the help of setters or we can use constructor way, right? Now let's say I'm using constructor here. So in my constructor, I have five parameters. So I'm using a parameterized constructor, right? So that, that's, a, that's what the class we have here. We also have a two string method so that when we print the object, we'll get that method, right? Now I want to create object of phone here. So we have a class which is shop and inside that you have a main method. So what we'll do is we'll try to create object of phone here. Now how to get object of phone? So we'll say phone P and we have to say new phone, right? We have to pass five parameters. And that's the question. What are the parameters we have to pass here? Uh, and with in which sequence so I have to pass OS I have to I have to pass battery I have to pass uh, screen size so we have to pass all those parameters right so the concerns are we have to we have to pass five parameters we have we, we should remember the sequence of the parameters in which sequence you have to send so that's the problem here and maybe I don't want to set all the parameters I want to set only the OS I want only I, I want to set only the RAM uh, not RAM but but maybe size I don't want to set all the parameters Example, if you want to buy a phone, you check all the things, right? You check which phone you're buying, maybe OS. You check which uh, was the screen size. You check for the battery. But let's say there are some people that are not concerned about all those features. They're only concerned about the phone. They want Android phone. doesn't matter which Android phone they want. It depends upon the budget, right? So they want an Android phone. There are some people that doesn't, doesn't matter which OS they have. They want a phone to call someone. Or they want a smartphone. Doesn't matter which OS they have. Maybe Android, maybe iOS or Windows. They want a smartphone, right? So in this scenario, we, we, we cannot pass all the parameters, right? So there's a problem here. So first, we don't want to set all the parameters. Second, even if you want to pass all the parameters, you should know the sequence of the constructor, right? So that's why... Uh, we use design or uh, say builder design pattern here now how it works so just imagine we have a class here which is builder a uh, phone builder and now in this class we'll be having all the variables which are there in the phone class itself and then we'll be having some setters now the not just to explain this how this phone builder works let's take an example of a coca-cola factory where they uh, where they pack the bottles so just imagine you got a bottle okay of course this is empty bottle right so this empty bottle goes ahead and it gets sanitized. So we are providing the same bottle and the same bottle will go, will, we get the output of the same bottle and then that bottle will go ahead and it, then we'll, we, we will put some liquid in that which is Coca-Cola. Now the same bottle will go ahead and then we have to provide, we have to attach a cap there. So we, have, we are applying a cap. The same bottle will go ahead and then we'll be applying a label. Right. So that's how it works. So this we are providing the same object as an input and the output will be the same object. Right. So if you're passing object A, it goes inside the same objects comes out. So that is, that is builder pattern. So how this phone builder will work so in every center. What we have here is in every center, it returns the object of phone builder itself. OK, so that's why we, we say return this. Right. So we are passing the same object and we are we are we are changing the values and we are taking out the same object. Right. That is phone builder. And at the end, we have a method which is get phone. And this get phone will give you object of phone. Awesome, right? And the advantage will be, now inside your shop class, what you can simply do is you can say phone P and then we can say new phone builder dot. Then we can say it is set OS, set screen size, set battery. And then at the end, we can say get phone. You'll be getting object of phone. And sequence is not important. Again, how to do everything we can we can we will see in the practical of that, which is the next video. So make sure you implement this thing whenever you have multiple parameters in the constructor. So that's your builder design pattern. So I hope I hope you got the idea. What is that? Uh, just to make sure you understand everything. Just do the practical of it in the next video. Uh, so thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.